Hey everybody, this is Gary Davis. Uh, I wanted to put this video together for you very quickly. I realized yesterday when I was showing some of this stuff to our good friends over at Dell that all of the hardware and the software that I'm using, none of it is NDA and none of it is beta or anything like that. So this was a you know an opportunity for me to explain and showcase really quickly some of the new features uh, around the product launch of this new graphics card. Um, firstly, I'm going to jump over into uh, our website. If you go to amd.com, uh, very quickly over to the right here, you can go to drivers and support. And, you know, depending on your graphics card, in this case, I'm using the professional graphics, Radeon Pro, Radeon Pro, the new W6000 series, and in fact, the big beast of the W6800. So I can go ahead and download the latest and greatest driver. In this case, it's, uh, as I'm recording this, today's date, uh, it's 21.Q2, so the year 21, second quarter. We come out with these drivers quarterly, um, and this is just currently the latest and greatest driver. Um, that number will pop back up in a second, so 21.Q2. Uh, moving along, one of the things I also wanted to talk about is the new interface. And this is a cool video. I'll be putting the links to all these videos and whatnot uh, down in the you know, comments section or whatever. Um, but this is a nice little video that highlights some of the new features of this enterprise driver. And I'll be showing you this uh, in a moment. I also wanted to talk a little bit about uh, multitasking, which is what I'm going to be doing. Um, this is true of a lot of our graphics cards. In fact, the entire Radeon Pro portfolio, not just the highest end that I'm using today. Um, this video is actually quite old. It's uh, from 2019. And what we're showing is a competitive comparison of us versus the competition. Whether you're doing a CPU load in the background or whether you're doing a GP load, GPU load in the foreground or the background, we've noticed a significant performance uh, uplift or increase or decrease rather on the competition and up to, you know, significant. Uh, let me just fast forward the video and show you. Um, and I'll pause on this screen. You know, in this case, this was back using the um, Quadro P1000 versus the WX4100, a nice mid-range uh, graphics card for everybody. And we can see when we're doing multitasking in the background, you know, a significant performance hit on the competition. And you barely feel only a 2% performance drop using this, in this case, again, the Radeon Pro WX4100. But this is going to be something we've seen across the entire product line. Uh, another feature that I'll be mentioning today is a brand new feature uh, called uh, AMD Radeon Pro Viewport Boost, and we've currently talked about this with Autodesk Revit, 3ds Max, and Epic's Twin Motion. I'll be showing it briefly, very quickly today in uh, 3ds Max. Um, it'll, but again, I'll put the links in there. And I'm going to start out with actually using a product called Lumion. Um, Lumion recently uh, put out a video. This is the largest architectural visualization ever rendered with Lumion, and uh, it was rendered on this graphics card, the W, not m the one in my. <laughs> specific workstation, but it was rendered on the W6800. Um, again, I'm not going to play you the whole video and I'll put the links, but you can see the size and the scope of this massive, massive, uh, and I'll even cut to the very end here, um, you know, a huge architectural rendering done in Lumion. Uh, I'll let this last scene show where it's, you know, the the, size, the scope of this city is just incredible. So again, there you go. 32 gigabyte graphics card is what made this possible and it dropped their render times from days to hours. Um, there's a lot of great information about this on the website. So what I'm going to do is jump into Lumion real quick. And if, again, this isn't a demonstration about Lumion specifically. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it's for doing architectural walkthroughs and things like that. Um, it uses very common game controls. Um, you know, I'm just using the hotkeys to sort of navigate around here in real time. You can see very cool features like, uh, you know, the trees and the brush and whatnot are moving to the in the wind and all that. But this is an application that really relies heavily on the GPU. So just as an example, I'm going to do a render a panorama and show you a feature within our graphics driver. Um, if I were to come over here and say, let's render a, a panorama, I'll do a not the highest quality for time's sake of this video. And I'm just going to go ahead and say, render this out and I'll call it pano. That's fine. It's going to start rendering. So you can see this this uh, image drawing out here. And what I'm going to do while it's doing that is jump over to this performance meter within this is the interface, our new interface of the AMD Enterprise driver. And you can see in the upper left here, 99%. Uh, our AMD Radeon Pro W6800 is pegged out at 99%. And I also have additional metrics for things like temperature of the GPU, the fan speed, which I can uh, interestingly enough, control per application. Uh, in this case, I have a profile set up for just the per tuning the fan speed when rendering in Lumion. So again, you can see 99%. And as I jump back over into Lumion, it's finishing up that frame. 
Uh, it's got about nine seconds left. And if I go back and look at the performance meter, as this thing finishes up the rendering, you'll see that it'll drop back down and the GPU will be released. And no longer is it using, uh, there we go, no longer is it using 99%. It drops back down to, you know, 30 in this case. It's draw, it's using uh, the GPU to draw a little bit on the frame. So let's uh, say OK to that. And in the case, so that was only a couple of seconds, no big deal. Um, what if we wanted to render out an animation? So in this case, I've got two shots set up here. Um, if I play it back, you can see that there's one, like, you know, a nice panning shot down here of this building, and then another one sort of moving across. Uh, whoops, here's the other one moving across, and you can see people walking along. That's great. So you've seen this before, architectural rendering. So I'm going to say, let's go ahead and render this out. I'm going to do full quality. Uh, 30 frames per second and full HD 1920 by 1080 and just call this test. So what I've done is set up Lumion to render out at two shots of the animation and in the lower right here you can see that it's gonna, it's guessing it's 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 an early guess because we haven't even finished one frame yet but it's gonna take about four hours. I'm also set it up to do a, a matte pass or some people call this a disco pass or, or a lot of different crypto mats for things like compositing applications but again that's another conversation for another day but the point is that it's rendering on the gpu and it's going to take about three hours it's guessing now it's already down to two hours and 40 minutes and once again if we come over here and look this the gpu is pegged at 99 you know it's fluctuating but it's really pegged and so it writes it renders it writes a frame to disk it renders it writes a frame to disk and so on so over here, the CPU, the CPU is actually doing nothing. And in this case, we're using uh, our competitor's CPU, but this would certainly be the case if it was, uh, you know, one of our own Ryzen or Epic uh, CPUs from AMD. Um, currently, we're not using much of anything on the CPU. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to jump over into something like 3ds max this is a very quick scene i put together uh, you know just featuring sort of an amd branded motorcycle and a nice turntable animation you'd think that the graphics performance would be really you know hit because lumion is in fact rendering in the background again i can show you lumion is still rendering away and i'm not nothing's up my sleeve we're really pegging that gpu but over inside of 3ds max i can even go you know full screen on this and i actually um rehearsed this uh, once and tried it at 4K. It per worked perfectly at 4K resolution. The only reason I'm, I'm doing this at 1080p is because the, you couldn't read the menus, um, but that's a, an aside and just why I'm doing this at 1080p. So you can see I've got really, really quick interaction. And if you can see up here, I'm just under 14 million polygons. So this is a pretty heavy duty uh, motorcycle. This was a, actually a SolidWorks model that was brought into 3DS Max. But it's again, I'm getting really, really quick in fact, you know, it's, it's keeping up as quickly as I can move around. The reason for that is that I'm using that feature back here. Oops, uh, where did it go? Called Viewport Boost. So this Viewport Boost, again, I mentioned it's currently available for Revit, Max, and Twin Motion. And where you enable that is over here again, back into our Enterprise Driver. I can come over here to Display. Oh, excuse me, graphics. Oh, it is display. God, I'm still learning. AMD Radeon Pro Image Boost, and we've enabled that. Now, back in 3ds Max, you'll notice it's hard to see, but there's a little dot up in the upper left of the viewport, and you can see it in all four of these viewports. That means radio the, that the image boost is enabled. And what that does is, under the hood, it's really just degrading the image or the pixels, and it's looking at these pixels up here that are the menu and over here on the right side that's the menu and saying you know don't bother with those only bother with where things are changing and as i interact with the keyboard and the mouse it's it's technically degrading that image but it happens so quickly that you don't notice it and when i release the mouse it's drawing it back at full resolution now again this is happening in milliseconds and you really can't see it and that is exactly the point that i can really really maintain a super quick performance even when my gpu is used at 100 percent in another application like lumion so again, let me just remind you, and I'm not, you know, no tricks up my sleeve. This GPU is still rendering away. So let's talk about the CPU over here. Again, I've got 3ds Max open. I've got a turntable animation set up. Let's go ahead, and in this case, uh, I've got it set up. You know, Max has a lot of different renderers. I'm going to choose Arnold as the rendering engine, which is a CPU rendering engine. So this isn't going to, this is not going to use the graphics card. I'm going to use the CPU. So let's just start this thing rendering. And we've got, you know, our frame going here. It's a nice 1920 by 1080 turntable animation. Very common workflow. 
So it's taking about nine seconds of frame. 3ds Max is guessing an hour and a half, roughly an hour and 15 minutes rather, to uh, render this out. So let's go take a look at what's going on in our uh, performance meter. And uh, indeed, Lumion is taking, still using 99% of the of the GPU. 3ds Max and Arnold is now, uh, you can see, rendering a frame, writing a frame to disk, rendering a frame, writing a frame to disk. So now we're really starting to hammer this workstation. We're using the GPU in one application, and we're using the CPU in another application. So you would think that this thing is brought to its knees. Well, we talked about that multitasking performance of the Radeon Pro product line, and I could do things like um, come into Adobe Premiere, and I could work very efficiently. And what I've got is a pretty simple, arguably a pretty simple timeline, but I'm doing uh, editing with, you know, overlaying this graphic and, you know, coming across here, I've got a real time to dissolve and transition between these two clips and I could move things around, I can scrub the timeline, all happening, you know, lickety split with no slowdown. I could even go full screen here, you know, smooth playback, no problem whatsoever. So this whole idea of multitasking was the real focus of this demonstration, but it used a lot of different technologies and to kind of just reiterate those, we were showing the enterprise driver uh, on the new W6800. We're showing it, uh, improved interface, new new user interface. We're talking about multitasking and how the superiority of uh, Radeon Pro when you're doing tasks in the background, you can just continue to work. Uh, Radeon Pro viewport boost in applications like 3ds Max and others. And then uh, we used Lumion to use this as a demonstration. So that's really the, the workflow, uh, the real quick video. And uh, meanwhile, one of the other features, and I'll wind up with this, I'll end up with this, is the entire time I was uh, doing this process and recording this demonstration, I was using a feature in our enterprise driver called Record and Stream. And as I sign off here, I'm gonna stop recording and uh, thank you for your time.